Hey, happy Tuesday, everybody. Sean coming at you from high level. So we've got an LC email update today. We've added an enhancement here so that for your dedicated sending domains, which if you don't know this already, you can obviously add dedicated domains to LC email, which is awesome. Now you have the ability to also set a default from name and email address for the dedicated sending domain. The idea here is the designated header will be automatically applied to all emails sent through the domain. So the idea here is if you aren't specifying it someplace in the system, this is the default that you want to use. With this new feature, users can streamline their email management by preventing sending from multiple non-associated email addresses. Additionally, using this domain configuration feature can distribute the email load across multiple domains, thereby minimizing the risk of email failures, especially regarding the DMARC compliance and ultimately enhancing deliverability. And this is all about those new changes that Yahoo and Gmail and Outlook, I think all just came out with recently. To ensure seamless alignment, when users add an email, we automatically check for domain alignment and provide notifications if misaligned. And the idea here is boom. So you can set, that's how you set it. So the idea is like, let's say you have the domain, the dedicated domain is kr2.dentistnearme, dentistnear.me, excuse me, there we go. The idea here is you're gonna say, hey, look, by default, we're gonna be coming out from somebody named dentist and the from email is gonna be info at dentistnearme. Now notice the dedicated domain and the from address actually match and that's the whole idea here. And then the idea is that if we're using that and then say somewhere else in the system, well, all of a sudden we say, you know what? We're going to send from Bob and it's going to be from Bob at Bob.com. Well, the problem with that is that sending domain is the kr2.dentistnear.me, not Bob.com. And that's going to create that conflict. It's going to lower your deliverability. And so we're going to warn you, hey, listen, no, the dedicated domain for this sub account is dentistnear.me. So you really ought to use an at dentistnear.me. This is a very hard example for me to say, obviously, but you get it. So they should match. So let's see here. If this line will let you know. Yeah, so February Gmail, Yahoo. And if this is the DMARC check. Idea, urging users to refrain from sending from free email addresses such as Gmail and Yahoo. For those currently using those addresses from within our system, instead of manually locating or removing them, this feature provides a convenient alternative solution. So the other idea here is that the Gmails and the Yahoos of the world, and I've always wondered why people do this, they will set these from addresses as though they're sending from Yahoo and Gmail. And, you know, honestly, if you're sending commercial email on behalf of a business, please let your clients know sending from Gmail just looks weird. I mean, when would you buy something from somebody who sends you from a Gmail or Yahoo address? I never get that, but it gets done anyways. But now it's even more prohibited than ever. They don't want you doing it. They, Yahoo doesn't want you doing it. Gmail doesn't want you to do it. So for Pete's sake, please go out and get all your clients to have a legit looking email address and dedicated domain and then add it here so we can have this great deliverability and we can get our clients fantastic results. If you want to see all the support docs for this, we've got them sitting here live so we can go into greater detail on this. But the idea here is how to set up a dedicated domain, help.gohighlevel.com. And then the other piece of this, of course, is this document here, which is we've got the lead connector version of it if you're trying to send this out to your clients. So you have a gray label there. And of course, as always, we also have the change log. So ideas that level.com, you hit the change log. And in the top right hand corner, there's like a speaker icon. Sorry, hold on, let me show this to you. So there's this like speaker icon right here. You click view change log, and that's exactly how you can get to this right here. And it goes through the whole thing that I just explained. So you can take some time to read it for yourself. Anyways, on that note, I hope you are as excited about this as I am. I think this will help all of you do a lot better job from a deliverability perspective and get us aligned with those brand new email changes. So anyways, on that note, I hope you're having an awesome Tuesday and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.